Rivalry game with huge implications in the Northeast State. New Haven and Leo bringing some dynamic talent to the football field tonight. Dogs and Lions meeting in our signature matchup. The vibes immaculate at Leo on Friday afternoon. The student body fired up for this huge game. New Haven with a huge play here in the third. Kyler Decker has to throw on the run after the botch snap. And he's picked off by Aaron Hoffer, the junior with a clear path to the end zone. Pick six dogs. Two-point conversion puts New Haven up 28-14. Lions respond later in the quarter. This time Decker with a quick flip outside to Audrey and Anderson. And he's got an opening. Breaks away and gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Leo. We're back to a one-score game late in the fourth line. Still down by seven. Decker, perfect ball to Landon Hepner, and that touchdown will tie this game up at 35 apiece. We go to overtime. Critical play for New Haven, third down on their possession. Donovan Williams with the Derek Jeter jump throw, and Mylon Graham hauls it in for a touchdown. The extra point puts the dogs up by seven. Leo needs to match, and they get their touchdown here. The goal line plunge by Anthony Nicolo. The extra point would send this to double overtime. Here's the kick. And it misses wide. This game is over. New Haven battles for a 42-41 victory, an instant classic in this storied rivalry. What a game. Two SAC teams perhaps heading, at least for now, in opposite directions. After a 2-0 start, Wayne fell hard last week against Homestead, while Bishop Lures 0-2 before building momentum with a first win against Northrop. Tied at sevens into intermission, Lures ball to start the third, and check this out, a one-handed snag. Isaac Zay with a huge game today as Cohen McKenzie's favorite target. The two hook up again here, this time number four for six. The Knights up 14 to seven, but on the ensuing kickoff, Wayne's number four, Harold Mack. He tracks the wobbly roll, secures it. He begins a voyage. Mack with green ahead, shifty to make one miss and shifting into overdrive for one quick response. Tied at 14, so it's the Knights' turn to knock back. Who else but McKenzie? He airmails this one, a perfect pass by the leaping defense into Zay's arms. He says, I'm number four. Lures captures a tight road win, 24 to 21. Now we hop on over to Carroll, big early season battle against the Chargers and Bishop Dwenger. Tied at three in the second quarter, Jimmy Sullivan will lob this one up. And Hanson Hafner makes the grab, reaches across the goal line before that ball gets knocked out. Touchdown, Carroll. It's 10 to 3. Saints trying to answer with some points before the half, and we see a great individual effort here from Dwenger QB Ethan Springer. He bounces this one outside and eventually gets hit pretty hard by Braden Steely. This does get the Saints into field goal range. And in the final seconds of the half, Dwenger sophomore Lucas Nguyen able to send this one through to bring Dwenger a bit closer. Coach Jason Garrett fired up for his kicker after that. Carroll does take full control in the second half, though, and the Chargers win 40 to 13. Both host Concordia and neighboring Northside seeking win number one to the 2023 season. The Legends run game relentless tonight. Camden Johnson in unharmed for the game's first score. Then Bronte Johnson at quarterback, rolling, running, and slicing in for six more. Legends up a dozen at the end of one, and they won't let up. Johnson again, Camden is bursting through the hole. Make that TD number two for KJ as the legends unload in a 70 to 39 shot, shootout. 70 points, wow. Undefeated Snyder runs out into battle against winless Southside and the Panthers wasting no time. First play from scrimmage, Uriah Buchanan on the carry, bounces outside and he's got a big gain, 37 yard run to set the tone for the Snyder offense. A few plays later, Kieran Billingsley throw into the far side. Boston Conley hauls it in and reaches the end zone for the first touchdown of the night. Soon after that, Panthers uh, with it again and in striking distance. Billingsley looking downfield, a nice ball to Austin Ganaway. A little bobble, but he stays with it to make the catch. Touchdown, Panthers. Snyder puts this away early. Panthers win 41-0. Not going to find many better one and two teams than Homestead hosting Northrop. First and goal at the one in quarter one as Brett Fox tumbles in for the first score of the game. And number one on your screen, Michael White. He knows it. Homestead ball again soon after. White delivers a strike to Jake Thrash. But the Bruins not rolling over just yet. Cameron Hamiel delivering the hit stick. The sophomore making his presence felt. Fourth and 20 for the Spartans. They go for it. White rolling out. 
hits a diving Nathan Bardwell. The spectacular catch still three yards short of the first. No matter, the Spartans' D seals the deal. Preston Hout coming in hot for the sack. It's Homestead in a route, 48-13. to 13.